It is that time of year when you need to start thinking about getting your flu shot, Marius. Yes, I do. But the flu vaccine, which is currently being produced for this year's flu season, may not be that effective. The World Health Organization believes there may be mismatch between what will be the active strands here and the vaccines designed to what the vaccine is designed to prevent. Consumer investigator Steve Sprache is getting answers tonight. <laughs> Before the flu strikes, experts with the World Health Organization meet twice a year to decide which flu strains to target based on global trends. That's important because companies which make the vaccines have to start ramping up production well ahead of the flu season to ensure there's enough to go around. And they need to know which strains to target. Having a vaccine mismatch is a fairly common problem. In the past, flu vaccines haven't always been as protective as they could be. In 2017, the flu vaccine was only 25% effective. In 2018, 45% effective. This year, its effectiveness is still an unknown. Will you realize there's a mismatch that you can stop production and restart again? That's challenging because, of course, to make enough vaccine to immunize hundreds of millions of people, you need a big lead-up time. So you really do need several months. Though scientists are worried about a mismatch, for many of us, the current flu shot is better than nothing. But even if it's a mismatch, you'll take it anyhow? Yeah, I'll get it anyway. Even if it doesn't match the main strain, it'll probably protect against some form of the flu. If it doesn't afford me any extra immunity, then there's really no loss in getting the shot anyway. Now, there is research underway right here in the triangle to make flu shots more effective. What we want to do is to make the next generation of vaccines that will improve the on the vaccines that we currently have. The Duke Human Vaccine Institute has received $30 million in funding from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases to try and do just that. And they say they have some vaccines which might work better and avoid some of that mismatch. The plan is to try to get something out that we can get into testing in the next year or two. Now, ultimately, the researchers at Duke say they would like to develop a universal flu vaccine that would be effective against every strain of the flu, but they say that's quite a number of years down the road. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher. All right, Steve, thank you.